Oh, she's gonna, he's gonna um, meow right into my Aww. microphone. Hey guys, we're back here with Sunday <laughs> Sweetheart. And I think these are the tiniest little kitties I've ever seen on the show. <laughs> they are pretty tiny, but if, if you can imagine, they're about four to five weeks old. And sometimes we bring in kittens that are as oh, young as just a few <laughs> days old into the Arizona Humane Society's bottle baby ICU. So mm -hmm. imagine how tiny those ones are. Um, but yes, this is Ken and Ryan. Like I said, they're about four to five weeks old. Um, they haven't seen Barbie quite yet, but hopefully they'll be able to see one in their foster hero home. They were originally rescued by a good Samaritan who brought them to an emergency okay. vet clinic, and then they were picked up by an Arizona Humane Society emergency animal medical oh technician, transferred to our bottle okay. baby ICU, okay. where okay. they've been getting care oh ever since. Are they even like a pound? I don't think they're even no. a pound yet. They are so tiny. They've been exploring all around. They're kind of getting to that really fun stage where they're starting to play. They're starting to explore, um, and they're eating gruel on their own. But like I mentioned, so they are not up for adoption yet. They are looking for yeah. a foster hero. And we are just really in need Aww. of lots of foster heroes, especially for little ones like this. So if you are interested, the Arizona Humane Society pro provides everything for you from medical care to all the equipment and food that you need and even trainings, you know, if you need it for um, even smaller kitties like this. So you can visit azhumane.org slash foster, be able to take oh, the online so orientation. Cute. It takes less than an hour and we'll be able to hook you up with an adorable little one like this. I mean, how can you resist? Whitney, are you taking these two well, little kitties home to foster? I was already foster fail once this year, so uh, we've been limited in our house oh, to, okay. to two kitties. But fostering oh, is so, so okay. incredible. It's such a great experience and I think one of the really great things that people don't realize is you get all here? of the supplies. So the food, everything you need, you get and you just absolutely. need to, you know, show them a little bit of love. Yeah, absolutely. All you need to do is have a little um, room in your home, room in your heart, and we provide the rest. They're so tiny. Yes, they're like, so oh my small. God. Yeah. Yes, absolutely amazing. But you know, even if kittens aren't for you, and especially little ones okay. like this, you know, there's so many different types of pets, and it really helps us expand the walls of our shelter. It actually helps us double the amounts of pets that we're able to help. And too, there's a lot of different ways that you can help. Just you know, really distracted, and I'm not even a cat person, but I'm kind of. Sweetest little things. Um, but yeah, so if you're not able to foster, there's a great way that you're able to help. You can visit azhumane.org slash bottle baby match. Right now we have a $10,000 match thanks to an anonymous donor who also happens to be a volunteer in our bottle baby ICU. So through t through tomorrow, you can get your gifts double to be able to help twice as many pets. Um, this year alone, we're expecting to be able to help about 2,000, not just bottle baby kittens, but also bottle baby puppies in this area. It's truly life-saving. It's a 24-hour operation where volunteers and employees are feeding every two to four hours, depending on their age. Um, and these little ones could not survive without your guys' help. Okay. So there's lots of different ways to help little ones like this. Ken and Ryan, are they a bonded oh. pair at this point, or are they still just being fostered together? So they're just being fostered together. They're from the same litter, so we keep them together. And then what's great about fostering as well is so you have the first right of refusal for adoption. So if you do fall in love, you can adopt, obviously. But, you know, being able to help um, in this way and be able to help as many okay, we gotta go as we can. Great. We love you. We love <laughs> Ken and Ryan. Have a great bye. Sunday, everybody. Say bye. They're so sweet. <laughs> AZ Family.